Hey guys, Alex, All Day Cards, back with a Warren Spawn the Slab Showcase. He's one of the kind of Hall of Famer guys I collect a little bit. And I don't, like, just like my Bob Feller one that I just did, I don't think I've really seen a Warren Spawn collection that I can recall. Um, again, I was a pitcher back in the day, so I was like pitchers. And also, uh, Warren Spawn, he, when I was probably in uh, middle school, he came to a local like department store to sign autographs randomly like on a Wednesday afternoon and it was free it was him and uh, uh, Johnny Sane and I um he waited in line for I don't know 20 minutes and got a couple of his his autographs so it's just like I don't know it was just super cool that like somebody like that would just be randomly at Value City Furniture Department Store in Glen Burnie Maryland Shout out to Marylanders if you know what Value City is. I don't think it's around anymore. Anyhow, starting with the oversized cards. Here's a red man. 52 red man. Uh, big fan of this set. There's that one. I got the, a 60. You don't see this much. It's a 60 spick and span. Spick and spawn. But Warren Spawn. It's a three. Spick and Span is was like cleaner, right? Still is, I guess. So I don't know if it came in like a box of like powder cleaner type stuff. It's got a bunch, it's got some stains across it. Whatever. Pretty sure this was cheap. Stay in top physical condition at all times. Warren Spawn. That's his his personal advice to you. Don't forget. Um, yeah, I like oddball stuff. Here's a 64 Giants, not exactly oddball, but oversized. That's a seven. These are cheap. If you don't have any 64 Giants, you should, because they're cheap and they're, I don't know, they're cool. 48 Bowman, that's a three. It's decent, I think it has, it's got a little light creasing, but um, that's his rookie. There he is, I think he's pretty young, because he played forever. He is another one. He started young, went to went to war, came back, kept playing forever. Coached. He played forever. Cause this is so. This is forty eight. This is the forty eight leaf. I got this recently. It's pretty rough. It's a one. Um, you know these are expensive, so I'll take a one. They're kind of like the Bowman on the back. Similar. Forty nine Bowmans. Whoops. Forty nine Bowman. It's a two. It's pretty decent. Nice card. I got this probably f well, first. I sort of got back into collecting probably 10 years ago now, maybe seven or eight, um, before vintage and everything kind of exploded. And I was just picking up some random stuff. I think I got like this for like 20 bucks. So it's a two, but for it was pretty cheap then. Prices have gone up for sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm one of those guys. I'm 42, so I'm one of those guys who collected in the 80s and 90s like everybody and... Had a, had everything and loved it and and then you know grew up a little bit went to college did whatever other stuff came back to it when I was thirty f whatever thirty four or five you know when I had a job and money and I was like hey let me get all the cards I ever wanted and pretty much never had and now here I am can't stop well, I won't stop just don't stop here's a forty nine Eureka sports stamp these came in a little stamp book it's a Kind of an oddball, being you know, 49. It's a five. Those are pretty inexpensive. There's a um, I know I'm thinking of the Sandy Koufax, the 55. Anyhow, I'll stop talking. 50 boom. I just got this. This is so I pretty much have all the Warren Spawn regular issues, and this was one of the last ones I needed actually. Nice, pretty nice example. It's a three. Move a little clip. It's a good amount of cards. 51 Redbacks, awesome set, I think. First top set, pretty inexpensive, good stuff. If you don't know what those look like, they're like a little playing card game. Look them up. 51 Bowman, and three and a half. Got a little, got a little crease in the corner. Otherwise real sharp. 51 Burke Roth. These cards are pretty ugly, to be honest. I love old baseball cards, and I pretty much like everything, but these are, ugh. The picture quality, just the quality. I'll say that. It's the quality. The, the printing, the picture, the papers, probably if you have felt it, not that I can, but it's just not good. 
Um, they're still kind of cool just because they're kind of oddball and you don't see them every day. I've got them usual and I've got a couple, but one of the uglier and one of the most not ugly. 52 tops, awesome. All these, all 52 tops, all 53 tops. They're all awesome. The colors, that's a three. That's the, um, the black back. I guess there's, a, what is it? Uh, the other one, blue back, gray, I don't even know what, red back? Is it a red back on the other one? I don't have it, either way. 52 Bowman, love these. Love the like grandstand signs, good stuff. 53 tops, I think I like 53s more than 52s. I don't know, I like them both, but good stuff. That's a two, kind of rough, but I'm all about the low grade stuff that I can afford. Because that way I can have all of it and just get twos and threes. 53 Bowman's is always beautiful. You're actually using photographs. This set's awesome. I gotta get that Pee Wee Reese. That one's expensive because it's the coolest photo ever. Oh, 54. Uh, this is not my favorite set from the 50s. Probably one of my least favorite. 54. I don't want I'm not I don't love 57s either. They're just kind of blah to me. 54s are cool. I mean, I don't dislike them, but like considering how much I like all the 50 sets, I think that's actually on the bottom of the list. Here's a 54 Red Heart. This was some dog food action. The big league dog food. That's a two, but you know, it's one of those ones where high grade's expensive. 55 tops, one of my favorites. The colors are amazing. They they chose the nice colors to contrast with, you know, um, the backgrounds, you know, um, the gradient. It's just really nice. 56, super similar to 55, but just not as cool, in my opinion. Two and a half. Spawn's got a lot of cards. I'm going to roll through it. Here, 57. Meh. That's a five. Not my favorite set, like I said. Born Spawn played forever. 58, pretty cool. I like the colors on these guys. That one's got a print, one of those print circles right in the middle of his hat. I don't know if I noticed that when I bought it. Probably not. 58 All-Star, eight off-centered. Yeah, it's off-centered, but that one's also, that's got an ink mark right on his face. Looks like a teardrop tattoo. 59's one of my favorite sets for sure. I like 55 and 59. Those are probably, if I had to pick two. 59 All-Star. And a four. 60. Seven off-centered. It's pretty, it's pretty off-centered. Uh, it would be top to bottom this way, but meh. Another 8 OC. I got a bunch of 8 OCs in my collection. Doesn't look terrible. It was probably fairly inexpensive. Here's a six miscut. You know what? You can see I'm not afraid of a qualifier. Yep, it's off, way off top to bottom. Even worse on the back, you can actually see part of the next card. But it's the back, so if you're looking at the back that hard, I'm probably doing too much. Here's a 62 and a six, it's pretty decent. Nice card. Okay, last four or five. 62 All-Star, nice seven. Real clean card. Super cheap, too. Warren Spawn's pretty cheap, you know, relatively speaking. He doesn't get the love that, you know, Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays do, but that's how it is. 63, it's a four. 63s tend to be kind of a little more expensive than other years. I think um, they're a little condition sensitive. Here's a 64. In a five, you can see that he looks old now, right? Looking pretty old. 64 stand-ups, I love these. I wanna get some more of these. I only have, I forget, I have Brooks Robinson, Frank, Spawn, Cepeda, uh, Boot Powell, you know, I got my Orioles. Uh, yeah, I gotta pick up some more of these though. I wanna get the Banks for sure, that's that's on my list. And um, some of the other ones are probably too expensive, but Sandy Koufax, I'd love that one. That's probably not gonna happen. This is a four. These are cool though, if you haven't seen them, they, they you know, in theory, they you know, push the player out, pop it, and fold the thing over, and it's a little stand-up. Pretty cool. 
got some wax on the back. I guess that's why it's a four, because otherwise it looks not bad. And his last card, 65, looking like, I mean, he's bald, looking like a grandpa. But his first cards were, I think he has a 40, he's got a 47 of something, of the Bond bread, or he's got something in 47, but you know, 48, 48 to 65, that's a, that's a long ass time. And then, you know, going to war in the middle and also being one, pretty much the best, well, one of the best pitchers ever. There he is, 65s in a, in a five. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, once again, subscribe and comment on stuff if, you, if you're interested. I got lots of this stuff, lots more to go. Thanks, bye.